What would you say if I told you that it's illegal to chew gum in Singapore? Would you shake your head in doubt like I did when I first heard that fact? Or would you cross check? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's true. On today's video, we'll be looking at 10 amazing facts that are downright unbelievable. Get ready for an awe-striking journey. Number 10, you cannot chew gum in Singapore. Well, you can if you wanted to. However, you would go from regular guy chewing gum to wanted guy chewing gum pretty quickly. So why did this happen? What's so bad about chewing gum that makes it contraband in Singapore? Well, in 1992, Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, after presumably looking at the underside of a public bench and seeing the constellation of gum there, decided that he'd had enough. He decided that the scourge of used gum on public facilities was to come to an end, and thus banned the import and sale of chewing gum throughout the country. Number 9. Making a jelly bean takes up 10 days. You've probably not thought of how long it takes to make a single jelly bean, and even if you have, you probably think it takes only a minute or two. After all, factories churn out thousands of these beans every day. How long could it possibly take them to make one? Well, the answer is very long. Very long indeed. First, the sugar syrup used to make the jelly is cooked, mixed, and left to set. After that, it's put in tiny cornstarch molds and then left to cool until it's time for an outer layer to be added. After that, the jelly center is put into large rotating drums, and this is where all the sugar, color, and flavoring are added to slowly form a protective outer shell. This process can take up to 10 days. Would you believe that? Number 8. Diamonds are only valuable because of De Beers. Have you ever thought of buying some jewelry for a significant other or a loved one? If you have, then during your ruminations, you probably considered buying diamonds. And you most likely abandoned that idea when you looked up the average price of a diamond necklace. Basically, you'd probably think diamonds are really valuable. However, you must know that this value is as a result of artificial scarcity and a PR machine that never rests. Of course, diamonds used to be very rare in the Western world. However, in the 1800s, a diamond mining rush in South Africa made diamonds more common than expected. This diamond rush threatened to make diamonds less scarce than they were, and this would obviously drive their value down. A company called De Beers saw an opportunity in this impending disaster and decided to buy up all the mines and create an artificial scarcity. To maintain this scarcity, De Beers is continuously buying diamond mines and buying out other diamond sellers. That's why diamonds are so expensive today. Number 7. The dog who would be mayor. Generally speaking, the position of mayor is for a human being, you know, under normal circumstances. However, the circumstances here are far from normal. This small Minnesota town had, from 2014 to 2018, a mayor who was a dog. Look at that one! That one looks like a dog! Oh! It is a dog! What? Oh. This mayor was actually a dog complete with a wagging tail, four paws, and fur. Duke, the shaggy great Pyrenees dog that had the honor of being mayor for four years, finally retired in 2018 because he was getting too old. What's more, rumor has it Duke plans to write a book about his adventures as mayor and being a good boy. Number six, the origin of the name Tiffany. When you think of the name Tiffany, what do you think of? You probably think of a girl born into money in the 90s. In your mind's eye, she's ultra-rich and really girly. While your assertion may be correct, when it comes to people named Tiffany today, you'll probably be shocked to find out that Tiffany isn't a modern name. In fact, it's a pretty old one. The name Tiffany, as far as we can tell, was first used in the 12th century and was actually a pretty popular name in those days. It was used as a variant of the Greek name Theophania, which means God appears. Today, some writers have resorted to using the phrase the Tiffany problem to describe historical facts that sound strange to modern ears. For example, how seriously would you make a movie based in the 14th century that had a Lady Tiffany as the main character? Not very seriously, right? Number 5. Man reached the moon before inventing wheeled luggage. When it comes to human achievements, there's nothing more symbolic than the moon landing. The fact that a man was able to walk towards and achieve such a feat shows that we are, without a doubt, an extraordinary species. However, it would interest you that when we were planning to lift man to the realm of the gods, we'd not yet thought of the concept of adding wheels to suitcases. The moon landing was achieved in 1969, 
And it was the next year that a man, Bernard Sadow, finally discovered that adding wheels to suitcases would make it easier for travelers to wheel them around. Number four, astronauts have to go through customs. Yes, we are still on the topic of moon landings, scientific advancement, and such and such things. Did you know that when astronauts return to Earth, they have to go through this little thing called customs? Yes, that's right. The very first crew of astronauts to leave Earth and fly to the moon was made up of astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. When they returned, they had to go through customs after making that giant step for mankind. When they went through customs, they had to declare things like moon rocks, moon dust, and several other moon samples. We can't allow astronauts to sneak aliens onto the Earth now, can we? Number 3. The girlfriend, a founder of Match.com, left him for someone she met on Match.com. Have you watched Inception? Of course you have. You're cool like that. Well, here's some Inception level facts for you. Imagine creating a dating site and then discovering that your girlfriend left you for some guy she met on your dating site. Wouldn't that absolutely grind your gears? It should. This was exactly what happened to Gary Creeman, the founder of Match.com. Creeman, after the immense success of his dating service, was distraught to find out that his girlfriend left him for someone she met on the site. However, he says that things are looking up. There's even a positive to be taken from the whole situation, he says. The fact that his girlfriend was able to find someone worth breaking up for was a testament that the site worked perfectly. Talk about seeing the silver lining in a cloud of sorrow, eh? Number 2. There are more people in California than there are in Canada. Have you ever been to California? If you have, you'd probably notice that the state is almost like its own country, with a population of 38 million people. California is one of the most populous states in the world. Have you ever been to Canada? No, that's the wrong question. Have you ever seen Canada on the map? Of course you have. Canada is America's next door neighbor on the north and they have a landmass that's almost just as big as America's. However, despite all of that land, only about 36 million people live there. Yes, about 3 million less than the population of California. Wild, right? Number one, the headless chicken. How long do you think you can survive without your head? A minute, two? Surely you wouldn't imagine living for more than two minutes at most. However, this chicken did the impossible. In 1946, a farmer beheaded a chicken in Colorado. The chicken then decided that it wasn't quite time to die and continued to live for 18 months. Yes, a year and a half. How that worked out, we'll never really know. <laughs>